Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to another edition of our Square Tales Sunday. Um, I know I've missed the last few, uh, but I know Miss Sonia has been doing a very well um, coordinated effort uh, even the last few weeks. So anyway, welcome back. I like usual. I don't want to take too much time. There's just one uh, piece of information I like to share before I talk about today's uh, particular webinar. Um, we've actually launched our own uh, Square Panda Club. Um, we had been till now um, using Facebook uh, to have our own uh, sec section, but uh, now we have a dedicated space, a community that uh, the team has actually put out on the chat box and they'll probably share more information over the coming week. Um, over the next few weeks, we're actually going to shift the webinar uh, completely into that community. So uh, when you're part of that community, you get this webinar and, and there are going to be a lot of other resources uh, that we'll be working with Ms. Sonia on and others as well to bring to you through that community. Um, and then we're also going to be providing a lot of content uh, for children of different age groups, right? So here, uh, though we cater to, um, you know, reading uh, stories, et cetera, uh, but there we're going to be able to kind of uh, expand that horizon a bit more. So anyway, my request, uh, when you get a chance, uh, take some time out, sign up for it. Uh, there's not much information we need from you, just simple, some uh, email name, et cetera. Anyway. Um, so my team will share that. Uh, on the other end, I think today is another uh, fun um, sex session that uh, Ms. Sonia has put together uh, with Ms. Ira Sosodia jo joining us from Udaipur. So I'll leave it up to Sonia and Ms. Ira to, to take this forward. Sonia, over to you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, welcome back, everybody. It's as like I said, a happy Sunday every time I come and see all of you. Um, today a special guest, but our story starts with Pan and then we will we'll introduce our guest. So very quickly, are we all ready? Okay. So today, Pan the Panda is walking around tiptoeing and the house is all quiet. There is just no sound in the, our house. Pan looks here and there. Left and right, top and bottom, left, right, top, bottom, left, right, top, bottom, and there is just no sound. Then he sees a little box. The box says, open me. And he says that, my God, I remember this word, me. Mama taught me yesterday. And because it's a box, maybe this word is open. So why is my voice not audible to everybody? All right. Um, you open the box. Put his hand inside. Now Pan is this very curious little panda. So he looked inside and look what he got in the box. My voice is not coming out enough. So he got this little, little book. So mommy had left a little book for him and said, and he looked at it and he said, oh my God, look at this little book. And he started opening it and looking at it. So saw some pictures, saw some words and said, I know a few words. I can recognize almost all the letters. And this is this beautiful tiny book and I'm going to keep it really carefully. I'm going to slowly try and learn how to read the whole book. So he put it back in his treasure box and promised himself that I am going to learn how to read my own books. Right now, mommy and daddy have to help me. Sometimes dada daddy, sometimes nana nani. But, and then he tiptoes and goes to the library corner. You know, you remember you all made that little library corner and who is sitting in that corner? Mommy and daddy. Both of them are sipping their cup of tea and reading their own books. So, Pan quietly because he knows that when somebody is reading in the library, you don't make a noise. So very quietly, he steps out and says, oh my God, now I have to go looking for my books and I'm going to see 
let me go to my bookshelf and see what I have. And he goes there and he sees his big books. His big and thick books. Some small books and says, now what should I choose? With more pictures or just few? Shall I borrow from my one for my friend and read a story so new? Oh, I look at the words. I have learned them just yesterday. I wonder today what mommy is going to leave on the tray because mommy leaves five words to read every day. I will learn them and I will read so many books and I'm going to dream to read. So mommy is going to leave some words for this little panda and he is going to read. Now children have to dream to read. And today I have somebody who dreamt that she's going to make the children read. And that's the person I brought today. It was very interesting because when I met uh, Ira, I met her in Jodhpur on a heritage walk in this beautiful um, uh, fort of uh, Merangar. And that day it was samosa and lassi, not chai. So it was really nice. It was Mita Lassi. And Ira turned around and looked at me. And Ira, that little book behind is the book where your phone number was written. And she said, you know, what do you do? So I said, I'm an author. She says, you know, I dream of having a fest for children, a literary fest for children, like a literary fest for adults. And the next year I travel and I come back to Jodhpur and I see a poster that says Kitabo and Ira comes on the Facebook and there the dream started. So Ira, a very, very warm welcome. Um, Thank you. Uh, square uh, Tales Sunday um, and you know uh, to start with you have to tell everybody why you dreamt that more children should read well I must tell you that I have two grown up kids now and uh, this idea just popped up with two partners in crime my brother and a friend uh, who thought we must do something for children and I felt very strongly that the things that you miss out as a mother or you want as a mother for your children. Well, your children have grown up, so why not do it for other children? And that was a simple thought in my mind that uh, often when I live in Jodhpur and often when you live in a small place, uh, a lot of parents complain, if it was a metropolis, we could have done this for children or that one. And I felt that places really don't matter. It is your own thought process and your want for the child and you can create that you really don't need big things and that was a simple thought with which we we started and uh, it's been a beautiful journey uh, sonia has been part of it uh, she can share something and i can tell you what you wish to know yes early literacy is the foundation for all learning building on this foundation our mission at square panda is to help every child succeed at early literacy. One of the things that parents may not always be aware of is that learning to read is an extremely complex skill. Not only from a behavioral perspective where children have to attend school for many years to learn how to read, but also from the perspective of the brain where some profound rewiring needs to happen to enable skilled reading. Square Panda monitors a child's performance on the games so it can deliver personalized instruction to each child. Progress in the game is adapted to keep the child in the optimal zone for learning, where they're challenged but not frustrated, where they're rewarded but not bored. One of the other things that I want to emphasize is that it is very important for children to really get engaged and have fun with the reading process. That is what ultimately we drive the intrinsic motivation to keep coming back and keep learning. You know, um, many times, you know, this is what some, also what I, I observed as I traveled as an army wife, that every time people would look at it and say, oh, you know, our place doesn't have enough. Yeah. Books can be your friends anywhere in the world. And you can lead, you know, your children to books on different parts. It doesn't have to be, chalo, book padte. 
you know it doesn't have to begin like that uh, we've been i've been watching a lot of you know things on phonics sight words but that's not going to create the wonder of books it's going to aid the book reading but the wonder of wanting to pick up a book and read so i think that day we were both discussing that the path to reading you know so if you it's a little bit of that you can talk about uh, it would be really nice so what i feel i don't know i'm sure you are a lot of young parents and teachers here i have really you know had no journey with children i haven't taught i haven't written i haven't done any of those things but just as a mother what i felt and what i missed out on and also what i could give i thought i could share it with other children and most importantly you know my town has had some beautiful music festivals uh, some folk festivals so i just felt why not something for children the old time uh, melas have given way there are no melas now Mm-hmm. and most importantly every parent feels these days that my child should read not realizing that not every parent is reading so you really uh, also not every child is similar so you don't expect everybody to read with that same enthusiasm so but you can make this journey come when you look at different aspects so my festival just does not have books most importantly i was questioned in the first year that so is it a book fair i are they going to be books to uh, sell i said well that is not the point the books you can go and buy anywhere um the books just as books haven't been able to be picked up by children so what is important is that you show them one uh, era of things and uh, and then they can pick and choose the journey can come to books so whether it is theater whether it is filmmaking whether it is music dance any performing art any a creative um, a bit any craft you know you can actually create stories and lead to be able to pick pick a book that is important so you know it is not just reading a book it is creating a reader uh, that takes a journey it's not overnight that a child will pick a book and read it um you have to keep patience and for that you have to find various ways and means each child to its to his own uh you really don't know which one will pick what in fact you know ida if you remember during one of the uh, the fests we had this beautiful um you know there was this um, tent and when i walked in there there were a uh, hundred children every group of 100 ira this year touched 17000 children during the literature fest lit and you know imagine the lit the lit fest started with just a thought and i believe she said last year 17000 children i mean it's amazing so i walked into this um, this uh, tent and 100 children are painting on black paper with white paint chuna so they said even when they ran out of paint they said chuna le lo chalk le lo it doesn't matter and what was interesting is this this artist uh, ira would tell me tell you the name yeah. when children yeah. building you know she would put it up on the walls of the side and the next lot would come and read a story out of it yeah. it was to die for ira i think you know like what you're talking about that books doesn't mean open a book and start reading that was like a book wall so if you could just throw a so little i i must tell you that um, uh, i i did not know the children's book world to say so because uh, i was blessed to be born in a house with lot of books so we just read what came our way not really looked at whether it's children's literature or uh, teenage literature or this or that so what came our way we kept and i strongly believe in that it's only now i think at this age that i have realized the importance and the impact of picture books i always thought you know there were just a few pictures but uh, of course it's been a learning journey for me and now i really understand what picture books can do 
that apart i must tell you this was ina kaur she was talking about she is an artist based in bangalore and uh, uh, actually i had met her at an exhibition in jodhpur and uh, i called her up and asked her that uh, if she could do something with the children and i did not want it to be a regular workshop with you know drawing and painting and what have you so uh, which is what i want to tell here that it is not important that you buy them paper and uh, colors and this and that you know so much i don't think we really need anything it is you pick whatever is there with you and around you and that is what also i think um sort of creates an observation and understanding to your own um uh, ecosystem around you and often we feel you know the ch the child has to be told about uh, climate change this that you can very subtly talk about your own environment the things that are around you and it comes its way it's just so ina did a wonderful thing we just had black paper and white paint that which got over because we it was such an overwhelming response children were enjoying yes. she created groups of children where three children would one paint any uh, any uh, upper body of anything that you felt like any living being you felt like one child the lower body and one child the the mid body of anything and then she would put them together and create you know your characters came into being so you learned how you how you draw how you illustrate how you weave a story around it so everything assimilates and then if you are excited to know that story eventually i think uh, you will also want to see it when you want to see it you may also want to read it some point from some yes. other day yes. so that is how it's just an effort to take you to books and then you stay glued to them yes so in fact that was the point which i wanted to make you know so you have i i am um, right now there's not so much interaction but uh, a lot of used to tell me that you know sonia we get the best of books we get you know all the encyclopedias we get every yeah. we get digital books this book that book and a child just chucks it because there is no wonder that you have created with a book that's right that's right It's like what ira said it doesn't no... matter whether the book is 2 rupees 5 rupees 5000 rupees you need to create the wonder to pick it up and wonder to pick it that's up right. you know so i think that's one thing and you know when ira we were discussing that what you know we our, our whole uh, this time together there was one more thing which came to my mind ira which said that do you remember uh, how we used to collaborate and read you know like in times like this when uh, people are not able to go out much do you feel you know parents should make an effort to create small reading communities Well, uh, keep a, a, a distance. Do you think it would it would do good in, in these times? Yeah, very important. See, so the the festival only meant to initiate and tantalize the ideas, and then it is for anybody and everybody to bring it to their houses, to communities around them, to their school networks or wherever, whatever possible. and you i i strongly feel that you really don't need um any big canvas of any kind to create this wonder the thing is you all you need to do is unfurl uh, free thinking and imagination and let them be and also keeping in mind that not every child will end up reading the way you want them to some will take to films some will take to theater some will take to something else but i think one leads to the other and that is what i strongly believe in uh, it's a chain so if you if you are tomorrow making a film you will there will be script writing so you will have to check on that for that if you have to research you will read so it's not necessarily that you read a story book or a history book or a this or a that it can be anything you know at the end of the day it has to give you new perspectives and uh, make you a larger broader person in mind and heart yes. so you know when we were small 
uh, we were we were not a generation of so much of plenty. So and this is something which I'm also telling the parents now. You have such beautiful books for your children, which oh, yes. are not using. You know, after a point, they're not. So if you can actually, even in these times where social distance doesn't mean that you're not going to meet people at all. It just means that you keep a certain distance. Yeah. And that's what we are saying. We're not asking you to just shut yourselves in the house. This is a beautiful time to collaborate. Yeah. With, I think. Yeah. The books, they suppose, and uh, books is the easiest way to collaborate. Yeah, and suppose we are exchanging. Like for example, the book has come to my home today. I don't have to pick it up today. I can keep it twenty four hours and then pick it up. So maybe twice in a week you are collaborating. Twice in a week you are exchanging books. You are doing that, and you know you can see uh, notes on the book saying so and so has read this book. Yes. Yes, so you know this is what used to happen in our libraries. If you remember, there used to be this paper stuck where you know the name was written. This yeah. child picked this book, this date, and then the signature of the librarian. So, which also excited you at some point of time to see, oh, your senior read it, and then your brother read it or your sister read it or whatever. This yeah, book that I have, it's like my book which I kept for my kid. Hand me. Yeah. This is another thing I thought we must talk about is the hand me down books. Oh yes, we very do. important. You don't need newer books, new gadgets, new paper, nothing. You can actually use your floor and a chalk, which is what I uh, I, I would like to tell you that there is this. Uh, she's actually a filmmaker from uh, who's passed out of NID. But uh, she's into making and teaching people how to do board games, and I was really happy to attend one of her workshops where she said. So I asked her. I said, "So how? What are we going to do?" She said, "Nothing. Just come." And there were a few pieces of stones here, and so she asked us, "Whatever you feel like, you pick it up." And what we did by the end of it, so we actually uh, could create board games. The simple ones, the ones which are very popular, she said. Like, how? Why do you need to buy? You know, you don't really need. So all the um, uh, the 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 games that are being played indigenously, which can be just done there, whether and you don't need uh, any sort of uh, gadgets or anything. You just need that simple floor where she could do. And and she said, then you can create your own versions. So it's so interesting. For you don't really need a scrabble, scrabble. You can just do it there. You know, I I also think this is actually um you know one big reason why I invited Ira today, because I saw the fest and I saw it with absolutely no nonsense, loads of color, everybody just smiling and uh, floating around. How can we paint on time for any idea? Yes, you can use watercolors, and you can happily paint. Balcony, me kar lijiye. Wahan pe the flooring is a little rougher. Right. Also, you know, our worry is we don't want the children sitting on floors. We don't. It's an over cautious. Of course, hygienically sanitizing this this time is important, but. So much to do to lead the child. Now, for example, what Ira is saying. Now, this child is wanting to create a board game, right? Uh, and the child is thinking of what should I write? Is there a curiosity about words? Yes. The child is going to pick up a book. Like I used, to, I remember I used to have this book called The Enchanted Tree. And what Ira is saying is, I used to create a tree, and every second or third day, I would have something new on the tree. I would one day have, um, you know, there was this washer woman who used to keep throwing water down on people. I don't see that happening anymore. Really? I would imagine different parts up to the tree. Uh, I would imagine going up on a branch and sitting and reading. So just the wonder of that book and that book we still keep in our library for our children. You know, even though how many kinds of books have come out. So I think this thing of creating a a process in in your homes. is so 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 important multiple usage you know not just using a book for just the reading it yeah, yeah there is so much which can be done through the book not just reading the pictures draw you to 
endless imagination you know yes. things that you haven't seen uh, but what happens these days is that we are only looking it's a targeted you know uh, being able to make them read the book it's a venture you have to read this book today this book tomorrow it doesn't happen like that or some they may not take to it at all so you have to find different ways and means so, of engaging and now what ira saying is so true you have to create a relationship you know a, a rishta with the books yeah aapne kya books ke sath unka ek connect banaya hai that's so important hai na if you don't do that it's going to be a routine aaj aaj do book padhna hai and then you talk about it so um you know we while book clubs are so beautiful start them young it doesn't matter and let the child just talk uh, you don't need to prepare children you don't need to have this big uh, this is the cover this is the author this is the back of the book this is the front of the book this is the preface you that doesn't make me enjoy a book for god's sake so these are the parts i just saw something that said these are the four parts of the book really uh, i know you know you need to make it a little more happier for children i think that's what you need to do read to them as much as possible i will give you a small uh, answer to that I, you know we've been engaging with little older children 8 yeah. plus uh, which was a conscious decision for me because i wasn't really equipped to be able to handle the younger ones maybe at some point of time but for la- i can talk more about the ones that i've seen and the journey that i've seen in yeah. that case you know sometimes what happens is uh, they they are very interested in uh, uh, visual treats they want to see the uh, the the play that's going on so what happens is once they see the play and if they really enjoy it they would mm-hmm. want perhaps to go back and check out on who wrote it and why they wrote it and not and that journey goes on two times three times four times similarly somebody is interested in cinema okay you don't want to read a book at the festival don't you don't need to go to a, a authors den you go watch a film and then you write uh, uh, you know uh, they write uh, this thing on film review on that now how do you write a film review you will only be able to write it when i show you a couple of them you read them so yes. these are ways and means where you figure out that which sort of uh, trail will take you where and uh, that's how you know and of course you are never sure whether you will reach there and I get know, a book in the hand i wrote at the end of my thing that i may like to read a book there is a may on it i may not do so either like you were talking about the fact that you know you started with children about 7 and 8 years old yeah if we have to i mean so the the one thing that i had thought and i'd asked you even then what is the initial parents reaction to actually taking children out to these places do they get involved do they actually sit down with the children do they so, uh, no i'll tell you how it has been um, so the first year i think mostly what they want is they want to outsource everything reading helps our children become independent and confident As parents, it's our responsibility to ensure we build this skill in our children as early as possible. 85% of a child's brain develops before the age of 5. So it's very important for us to have them reading much before that age. And we can't just depend on our schools to help our child read. In a 24-hour day, 8 hours are the school's time. 8 hours are the child's own time of sleep. and 8 hours are the home time where the parents are important any learning that is happening in early childhood education or even later one third of it is happening at home and it's important for us to spend time helping them build their skills parents can sit with the child can actually practice phonics based learning and help the child actually become independent readers square tales you can use that at night with your child to read a book or just simply spend time with them everybody has a paucity of time everybody wants to find the easy way out why don't you do this you know why don't you put her in this it doesn't happen like that what is important is 
you are part of the journey you have to spend a little time some things can be outsourced at some point of moment, but not when you are initiating you also have to be a part of it so a thing which you haven't experienced which you are not enjoying you just want to thrust upon the child that you know you must enjoy that doesn't yes. happen exactly. and i think similarly for teachers um you know you have to be very participatory and in my first uh, at the first uh, festival what we saw was everybody obviously it was a new thing for my city and people around so we've tried to reach uh, children so for some it was a very it's a, it was a very very new idea you know it all they thought was that perhaps we were selling books and they were coming to a book fair and uh, so i i just had to tell them just come see you don't need to get any money nothing you have to just come and experience whatever you like and because there are about 15 simultaneous platforms we have with various activities you can pick and choose wherever you want to go and it was it was actually difficult to convince them to let children be you know the teacher would say perhaps it's a sense of duty that no 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 you sit here you might get lost so that i said no they will not get lost that's the first thing i have to look at so they are yeah. safe here there is this boundary where the, beyond which they can't go anywhere yeah. so yeah. it's important let them choose yes. you know you only have to show the colors and then let them pick you have to give and i said i said some of them may not like anything at all so then ju- just let them be let them just sit around and watch if they don't want to see anything which was a big thing and parents actually i thought par- i mean i had it in mind that they might not come which they didn't they wanted the school to send them <laughs> oh, so uh, that's why I, yeah you know that's why i brought this up because you know um as we throw our children if you are not involved please don't feel you can outsource all this you yeah. can if you go to a fest and you are busy on your phone please do not expect your child to be involved especially little ones because that child is not say, books acche hai beta tumko padhna chahiye are you even enjoying that journey with the child so i still remember that you know when my child was growing the wonder of her books used to be my wonder the spark used to be in my eyes i used to say oh my god today we yeah. read yeah. so you know we used to we used to wait for that reading moment and and they just naturally become readers we didn't have to make them readers so you know you have to create have that to buy anything for them they would just read anything in their hands you know so i think that's one thing which i um, which you all must look at uh, don't outsource your uh, involvement it yeah. doesn't work That's take most important i feel take see today you realize that my god there were so many beautiful fests and we were spending our time in xyz shopping mall I, that's a huge thing i see kids being dragged on a sale thank god for them it can't be possible now but please invest into these i remember when ira started this uh, kitab i kept thinking why aren't the parents coming why aren't the parents coming imagine enjoying this whole journey with your child saath ke kahani suno saath baith ke kitab kharido go through it pack it up put it out in your yeah. and the- you know you are also looking with the child what the child is enjoying what yes. the child is not looking at at all so you know you have to pick cues from here and there as you walk around with the child that's Absolutely. very important Um, you know, know some children may like end up liking some music also i feel uh, very strongly that you end up undermining your own things whether it be your culture your language your uh, your social milieu whatever it be i feel that is uh, that is really uh, that i think that is the first thing that you should get rid of how much there is learning in what is around you is yes. very important and that is why you know my festival has uh, equal proportion of rajasthani hindi and english so it's really strange the first time when children came there are children from rural areas as well and uh, their teacher wanted that they should only watch an english play so 
So I was, I said, no, it's not important. They won't follow it. And if they don't follow it, they will never be interested. Never enjoy it. So yes. Why don't you show them something which, you know, will, uh, and once you get initiated, then you can always go to the other and uh, which is very important, I think, and which we have really missed out in these years. Yeah, I was just looking for my katal, you know, I had this katal in my hand. And that is the wonder that I picked up from, you know. That so I must tell you here that Sonia was there for one of the sessions, uh, narrating stories. And she used the kartal, which was which is the, the, the folk instrument here, used by the Manganyar and Langa communities very often. And uh, you should have seen the way children, uh, the outpour of children in her session. We had to stop them. <laughs> It is so exciting. But you know, the mother will say, well, I want my child to play the guitar or the piano. Uh, you know, just you begin small with things around you and you maybe perhaps if your journey takes you that side, you may end up doing that as well. But we, yeah. we want to straight away jump there. <laughs> and you know, uh, either I'm going to do the story with this now. now that oh, we're... lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I uh, for me, the I had, even when I told Ashish that, you know, when I, I come to meet all of you, I think the day the wonder of coming here stops, I will stop coming. <laughs> I feel excited about coming and meeting you, you know. I am not happy doing it then. It's not just a job in the day. I don't want to do it. So that is it. So now that she's brought up the Qatar, uh, Ira, I've had the classes from Zakir, yes. who's one of the best Qatar players of, of that area. Uh, Ira also is, you know, takes care of Spikmeke. So she deals with loads of artists. I'm still going to be brave enough and play the Qatar in front of you her. Must. That's how it begins. So I'm going to I will do a beautiful Hindi um uh uh, this, you know, this this katal was sold to me by one child who was like five years old in Udaipur, near that uh, Haveli. And uh, I, to, I told him, I told him, I told him, then he sold it for me. So, are we ready? We are going to go to Dantapur. We are going to go to Dantapur. Okay, okay? In Dantapur, there is a dana vaya. In Dantapur, there is a dana vaya. But the children are going to go to Dantapur. Then, they are going to go to Dantapur. Then, they are going to go to Dantapur. I hope some of you all understand Hindi, if not just enjoy the music. And the children said, Dana Vraja, you don't have so much coffee. You have to go to the shop, you have to go to the shop, but Dana was Dana. Open, 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 coffee, open, open, coffee. So, in the morning, the sound came, in the morning, the sound came. Dan dug gaya, dan dug gaya, bhai. Dada ji, then come there, Datu, apne saath unai. दादा जी फिर वहाँ पे आए जातू अपने साथ हो जाए और दाना ब्राजा को दान साफ करना सिखाया ऊपर नीचे गोल गोल ऊपर नीचे गोल गोल ऊपर नीचे गोल गोल ऊपर नीचे गोल गोल ऊपर नीचे गोल ऊपर नीचे गोल गोल अब इतनी करतार बजानी आती है मुझे यार अ प्रो सो इट्स अ इट्स जस्ट वंडर इट्स फन इट्स 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 � I gave him small flashcards, Ira. Yeah. And then I went back the next year. You know, that child, uh, they are standard places, right? They yes. had worn out bundle sitting there. I don't really know, you know. But allow that to happen. Yeah. There's a little child called Irfan here, that little boy. So that boy came for one of our fests and now he studies in a school. You yeah. know, he had his his nails were not clean. He was, but when I asked him next time, he says, "Ma'am, school jata hu." So the wonder, wonder will happen. And you know what he had picked up, Ira, was uh, the Hindi books, colored Hindi books that I have. And he said, "Ma, leke jaun kya?" You know, so small little things that will help you. One little little activity before we go. So have a word box. In a word box, beautiful little word box. Put four to five words for the children to read every day. After the children read words, give them phrases. After they read phrases, give them sentences. Use very simple resources. So these puppets are from uh, my daughter's wedding. These are the rings that came out of the puppets, you know. So I use key rings, simple key ring, you know, a normal key ring, karabu jata. And these are strips of paper which I just like. 
and I said, let's do it. So you actually can turn it and then you give them the books. Another beautiful thing that you can do now that you know you're all, is, and don't, I'm not saying don't buy resources. Please buy whatever you need, buy digital, give them the platforms required, let them do the trendy new things, but don't feel that that is the only thing that's going to make the child love books. Another beautiful thing that um, I just looked at and saw was this, this wooden book that I have. And it has a little drawer in it. So what I would suggest is for the slightly grown-up children, let them, take, let them finish reading a book. Let them take a sheet of paper, divide it into two parts, again fold it. And then I'm sure um, we'll put up these recordings, you know. So in fact, you should make it a six. So if you actually open it, you'll see one, two, three, and four parts. The open part is down, the closed part is on top. I'm just going to tear it. Tear it half, okay? Then fold it. Turn it over and just turn it like this. And now when the children finish reading that particular book, let them author their own book. Let them, you know, actually opens into a cover page and inside page one, two, so eight pages of book. The children, the older ones, the small ones won't be able to do this, but the slightly older ones will do this. They will author the same book all over again in their own way. They can color it, draw it, write the number of words, write sentences. Don't worry about spelling errors. Don't look at it and say, ye kya likha hai, ye kya likha hai. And then tell them to put it, open it and say that it's the box of books I love. And the child just slips it into this. And once this fills up, don't throw it away. Store it. And every time the child touches this, tell them to go back to that book. Let them revisit reading, you know. That's how books you fall in love with. I say, it's not that one day and it's done and over. That's not how to love. So, uh, so one of the things we do there, did there was, you know, those who, are, those who have crafty hands and uh, uh, don't wish to read, can, you know, were made to do what? They were made to do, how do you repair books? How do you make books? How do you make journals? So I think once you make them, maybe some of them will be excited to use them as well because they've made it or give them. So I think the journey just begins that how do you, then then you teach them how you publish them. So we also taught them printing in one of the workshops. So those who wish to do that, they can do that. So, you know, I think it one leads to the other in some cases, in some cases it doesn't. But these are ways and means where you can just sort of beautiful and and draw a match. Thank you. And that was such a beautiful way to end this, um, you know, evening today. We have one minute left saying that teach children to repair books. How beautiful is that? We don't even do that anymore. We just chuck it. longer because I think not even using them. And another thing of which you said of reusing things. I think that's just a forgotten thing because uh, I think they're just loaded with too many things much before time. So, I so yeah, you. the excitement is killed. Yes. You, know, you all have it there before you can use it. Yeah, um, you know, we all still, we all still go, uh, Didi ki kitab, you know, like, uh, I remember my brother, I tell him, even now I do that. So, Ira, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been and such a pleasure. Said thank you, Ashish and Sonia, for having me over. And I think it's as exciting and a lot of eye opener for me as well. Thank you. Thank you so, so. Thank you so much, Ira. Thank you, Ashish. Uh, you know, so the next two weeks we are going to dedicate to uh, nurturing healthy minds. So healthy minds will bring up healthy minds. <clears throat> I have to be healthy and happy to bring up healthy and happy children. So we're going to have somebody joining us from uh, the Gurgaon. And uh, she's somebody who works very passionately. In fact, you know, Ida, the one thing that is working for us is that everybody who's come here is somebody who thinks from the soul, not even the heart. <laughs> you know, I think that's what also made me 
connect to Ashish's team because when I walked in, I even though you know they are modern, they're digital, they are doing uh, learning platforms, but there's something so human about the youngest member of this team, you know. So I feel that that's what connects all of us. Digital is no aversion to so the modernity and what is coming. You can't deny that. Yeah. But I think a good yeah. so I think always keep that heart going with the digital and all the very best all of you and we'll see you on next time. Ida, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody for being here. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. My kid is like every other five years old. Uh, she loves being active. She loves to play. She loves to be naughty all the time. But she won't really read. All that changed uh, when I introduced her to Square Tales. Square Tales is, is basically an interactive platform. It actually makes herself learn. Uh, just the 10 minutes of it and she like grasps everything. It just contains of two or three letters in the words. She speaks it so clearly. For beginners, it's very important to learn to read. And then in a later stage, they read to learn. He is learning correct words, correct pronunciation and his vocabulary is increasing. I am happy he is able to blend the letters and he can read. She had started uh, reading small sentences and making her own sentences. So it's more of a fun for him. The child would love to play with this since it's uh, with full of characters and colourful. They start with guided reading digitally and then they move to independently reading the physical version of the same book. The activities and the readings and the books they are giving, it's all based on the neuroscience research. It's a digital world, of course, so the child would love to play with iPads and phones and all. And they are willingly learning with that. And I don't feel guilty about giving my daughter the screen time. I heard about Square Tales online and I just had to try it out. I'm really happy with Square Tales, you know that uh, it is giving that overall development to my child. As in a whole, I'm really very happy to make this decision and gift her square tails. So I'm very happy with this, uh, this, with this square tail and I highly recommend for the parents to go for it. I'm uh, waiting for more to come in. And I'm so confident that this product will help my child to become successful and more advanced.